configuring database structure. The database is an essential part of any application. Let's figure out how it can be configured. You'll find a navigation tree to the left. By clicking on data structure, we see various objects. The elements of that structure. Each object contains fields. These fields will be one of these types. A simple string, integer number, decimal number, date, array, JSON, a link or array of links to another structure. Let's use an example. Here we have an object, a book, with a few fields, including title, year, genre, and a link to another object, the author, where we find a field which is an array of links to several more objects, his other books. Now let's create and configure a new data structure. We choose the folder in the tree and click the New Data Structure button. Then we select the parent folder and enter the name. There it is, a new, empty structure. Now we have to configure its fields. Click the button and there's only one field, ID. This obligatory field is the key to the object. Now we can add as many fields as we like and organize them in groups. If we add a type of link field, we should use a data structure to connect it to. Fine, now we've configured the fields, let's add an object. Note that the value in the type of link field should be the ID of the object to be connected to. The ID often looks like a number. To make it more descriptive, we should go to the structure field configuration and set up a visible name, like this. A data structure can contain thousands of objects. To find the one we need, we have to use filtering. That's where we can compose a logical expression using the data structure fields, like this.